Anyways. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a 2022 Ford Mustang with the new Ice White Appearance Package. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with the Mustang. Check out the inventory in the description down below. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 5 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's good for 15 around town and then 24 on the highway from a fuel economy standpoint. And then power outputs are 460 horsepower and then 420 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of this Mustang GT. So we still have the signature accent pieces here on the hood that are a nice contrast to all the white on this particular car, especially since this is a white accent package. Coming down below, we've got the LED accent lights there with the projector bulbs, and then you guys can see uh, down there with the accenting. And then coming to the front grille, First off, you guys will notice the Mustang horse is now white as part of this package. And we've got the normal front splitter situation that's finished in black. So there's nice contrast on the front end uh, from all the white elements and then also all of the blacked out elements as well. And yeah, there's the front end. Before we go over the wheels, I want to mention this has the little Mustang horse graphic on the ground. Anyways, going over the tire and wheel setup, 255 millimeter tires wrapped around 19 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear. And these wheels are very interesting from a design standpoint. I wasn't so sure about them initially, and then I looked at them a little bit longer, and then I looked at them with the whole profile of the car, and I've decided I really like them. So, notice how we've got the white paint on the inside portion of the wheel, and then you have the silver on the top, which seems like it would clash initially. And when you look at the wheel by itself, right? When you look at this in a vacuum, you're like, okay, that kind of looks a little bit off. But trust me, when you guys see this full side view, you'll kind of change your mind. Got the 5.0 badge that's also white. And now taking a step back, now you can see with the full profile of the car, the wheels actually work. It actually yeah, makes sense. So we've got our key fob here with the unlock, the lock, the remote start, and then the opening here for the trunk. And then we've got the Mustang horse there in the back. So we'll press this twice and it'll pop the trunk right open. You guys can see the storage space here in the back, uh, which is actually pretty good for a muscle car. And you guys can also see the opening as well. Nice and solid. You got the emergency release and I'm gonna pop that down. Now I'm gonna show you guys the lights on, but I wanna show you guys everything off right now. So you can see you've got the white here on the lights. That's also part of the package. GT logo in white. And then we have the performance spoiler here on the back. And then you guys notice the parking sensors there down below and then the aggressive exhaust tips with the diffuser. Uh, and then obviously we do have the sequential lights which are definitely a cool feature here of the Mustang. Uh, and they look really cool while they're on, but they look cooler while they're off, in my opinion, with this uh, package. Definitely a really cool looking rear end. So here's the door panel at the front. You guys can see the white leather and that's contrasted by the black leather down below. You got the ambient lighting there and the door handle. Three functions for the memory seats. We got a speaker for the sound system, window controls, all that fun stuff. Blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. And we'll just do that latch so you guys can see the rear seats here in the Mustang. You guys know the drill. You can fit stuff back there. You can fit kids back there, adults. It's a little bit of a difficulty. Short trips maybe, but long trips? No, definitely wouldn't recommend that. Uh, now, I guess I'll have to uh, do this with one hand, get the seat adjusted back. You guys can see the driver's seat right here again with the black and the white contrast. So the center portion is perforated, it's all white. Definitely a cool look and obviously matches the exterior. Got the Mustang plaque right there. Pedal layout and you guys can see the pedals are very nice here. Light controls and then you guys can see all the uh, white accenting here on the side uh, as well. It's been added as part of the package and there's where I'm gonna look before we pop in. So here is our steering wheel. You guys can see leather all around uh, the steering wheel itself. And I'll actually pop the lights on in the interior so you can see a little bit better. And then you can see the stitching down the center portion. Controls here for the center stack, phone controls, all that normal stuff, and then up above. This does have adaptive cruise control. Got volume controls, paddle shifters here on the back for that 10 speed automatic. We have our turn signal stock. We got our windshield wiper stock. And that's all. Now here is the center gauge cluster. This has the full digital gauge cluster, which is definitely pretty cool. You guys can see different bits of information with it. But the fun part is the different modes. So we have different steering modes. We have normal, we have sport, and we have comfort for the steering modes. And we have some different drive modes as well. We got normal, we got sport plus, right? We have our track mode. 
Um, and I don't believe there is a track steering. I think it's just sport steering, right? So on the track, you're probably gonna use the uh, sport steering from a steering perspective. And then we've got our drag strip, we got our snow wet, and then back to normal. And it changes kind of like the whole gauge cluster setup, which is a cool feature of the Mustang. We've got the center infotainment system here, and if we pop it into reverse, you've got the backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. you got the zoom function on that, which is nice. As the rest of the infotainment system, uh, response time on the screen is great. Uh, it's easy to use, and yeah, I don't have much else to say about it. So down below, you got analog controls for that. We have heated seats, cold seats here for the front dual zone climate, and then you guys got the switches here for the drive mode, stability control, hazard lights, engine stop start, and then you can see the shifter for that 10-speed automatic with the sport mode. And then you guys can see here with the shifter. And then more ambient lighting here in the cup holders. Then we've got the center console set up, decent amount of storage. And then popping over here to the glove box, you can see inside of that. And then notice this says Mustang there at the top. And then you guys can see here with the stitching up top, and then again with the uh, white trim. And there's nothing happening up here, it's just a black headliner and the lights and the mirror. And yeah. So here's the window sticker for the Mustang. You guys can see 2022 GT Premium. Feel free to freeze the frame if you need all the standard equipment per usual. And then you guys can see optional equipment. And again, this package is called the Mustang Ice White Appearance Package, $19.95 for the package, if you guys were wondering. And then you guys can see here, total MSRP, $48,830. And do do do. Let's take it out and see how she drives. About visibility before you set off there's visibility of the hood both of the mirrors which do blind spot monitoring and then throughout the rest of the rear and let's set off so setting off here in this mustang gt it's been quite some time since i've driven a mustang and it's such a nice driving car so this is an interesting day because i actually drove an lc 500 earlier today and now i'm driving this mustang and you can actually perceive a weight difference substantially i know these cars don't compete against each other but Every time I Google LC500 versus or Mustang versus, they're always like, people are always looking up these those cars versus each other, if that makes sense. So apparently people are comparing the cars, even though they're not in the same uh, segment. But anyways. So quick. Let's pop it into the track mode. You know what? Why not? We're on a racetrack, right? And then put it in the S shift. For track use only. Yeah, we're on, tra we're on a track for it. So quick with the gear shifts, so smooth, sounds amazing. Gotta love that Coyote V8. Definitely uh, one of the best sounding engines uh, out there. The exhaust, whoa, that's a lot of lights on a Hyundai. Just has so much grunt, uh, it really does. It's, it just has this massive push on the back, so torquey. And I love how the gauge cluster looks in this drive mode. So fun. Yeah, this 10 speed automatic's great. Obviously, you know what? As an enthusiast, right? I'm gonna want the uh, six speed manual. But you know, as a daily driver, this 10 speed's gonna be a little bit better from that perspective. Sounds so cool. Yeah, Ford's just nailed it with their transmission tuning. Uh, you guys know I have the new Raptor and the 10 speed in the Raptor, how that's tuned is, even better than this, to be honest. Uh, really good, though. We'll let this person go so that they can... Then we'll go, right? Taking turns. <laughs> Sounds so good. And it actually gets pretty good grip. It's it's cold outside, and, you know, this is a rear-wheel drive car, but it, it actually gets really uh, good grip. See how the brakes are? Brakes are solid, too. So... I guess that'll get me to selling things up here with this uh, GT. So first off, exterior wise, I actually dig it. I think it looks great. Um, I know some people might not like the, you know, aesthetic this has going for it, but I think it looks amazing. Uh, it's one of the best looking Mustangs I've seen in a while. And then interior wise, right? They haven't changed a whole lot over the last few years with Mustang. 
Uh, but you know, for a muscle car, this has got a pretty nice interior, right? Um, you know, compared to, you look at like the Dodge Challenger and the Chevy Camaro, this is, this is a nice interior, I would say so myself. Turning's great. Love the steering on the Mustang. Yeah, the shifts are just perfect. Such a fun car. Makes me miss my uh, Shelby GT350. That was a cool car. Um, but I guess that, that'll get me into uh, fully, fully, fully summing things up. I know I said that I was gonna sum things up, but you know, just trying to show you guys some driving with the car. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a really cool new package on the Mustang and you want something that's more daily drivable, that's what the GT Premium Package gives you because it has comfortable seats, automatic transmission, it's got good power, it's, it's got a lot going for it. It's a great car uh, overall and the Mustang handles great and I can say that confidently. Uh, after driving the LC500 earlier today, I can very confidently say that the, the Mustang GT Yeah, just fantastic handling. So check it out. Now let's get something's up for our video on this Mustang GT. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with the Mustang. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.